What is going on lads and welcome back to another eFootball 2023 video for Dream Team. So you'll be just seen on the screen here lads at the moment. I've been very vocal about the issues that I'm having with the defensive side of eFootball 2023 at the moment. Every game seems to be, you know, an interception fest. That's what it kind of seems to be. That passes are under hit and you block it. A ball bobbles into the wrong person's feet and it intercepts and bobbles for a goal scoring opportunity. And a lot of the time it's because you have, you know, or you or your opponent have your team set up to have players that have these specific player skills. Now saying that, as a disclaimer, depending on when you're watching this, the current build of eFootball 2023 is very defensive friendly. It's very easy to defend and to dominate your opponent defensively unless you are an absolute you know in the top 10% of players or top 5% of players you will still get chances right but if you are struggling to like even get a foothold in the game and you're wondering how your opponent is getting so many chances right take a look or so many blocks and interceptions and you find it so difficult to break him down even though I know the defending is super super assisted at the moment take a look at these player skills for the defensive side of the game man marking track back interception blocker aerial superiority slide and tackle acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit these are kind of the, the ones that I would really focus on if you are buying a player if you are looking to buy a defensive minded player that you just want to be an absolute bear at the back right these are the two most important defensive stats that if you do not have a couple of these players with these player skills littered across your team, you will not get as many interceptions and blocks. It's just the way that the gameplay is at the moment. Now, I'm not saying that you won't get interceptions and blocks depending on your play style. If you are a beast of a player and you're able to close down passing lanes and you're able to press effectively and you've got a fairly decent squad, you will still get interceptions and blocks. But the AI at the moment is dialed up to the nines with how they assist you in making runs and blocking off stuff. So interception and blocker, all of these players you're seeing here, including our first budget buy, Lustenberger, you will see here that all of these players have got those players their skills so you'll see on the right hand side there this guy has got interception blocker sliding tackle and fighting spirit as well as acrobatic clearance so he's pretty much got everything that you could want he goes to an 84 overall if you are struggling pop a couple of these guys into your squad test them out let me know what you think because i think if you're coming up against guys that are just completely dominating you um defensively and you're not even able to pass through any passing lanes this could be a problem for you if you do not have these defensive players yourself this guy is well worth eight thousand. next up we have got manchester united's pairing of martinez and casemiro we'll get to casemiro in a second but lissandro martinez one of the better players in the premier league this year one of the best center halves in the game at the moment he's still young he's got unbelievable player skills i would think he has probably got the best player skills of any center back in the game because of his ball passing ability and his uh, ball control but again you have it there man marking interception blocker sliding tackle and fighting spirit so what happens when you are actually training these guys up and you get their defensive awareness up you get their actual physical contact up and their aggression up and you couple that with the player skills that they actually have when the AI is controlling them, right? Or when you're controlling them, mostly the AI, they will hold the line better. They won't get caught out of possession as much. They'll, if a ball is close to them, they'll get those contextual blocks, which seems to be very, very heavy in the current gameplay patch that we have. We spoke about Casemiro a second ago. Again, as a DMF, if you have him DMF and you've got two solid center backs, you are going to get a lot of blocks in that little pocket of space in that central area of the pitch, which 90% of players play centrally. They play quick touches, you know, little triangles, touch and go, get a lot of bodies in the box and a lot of options on. Again, Casemiro, DMF, but you can play him CMF as well. He's got interception, man marking, blocker, area superiority, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, acrobatic clearance, and heading. So this guy is going to just be an absolute monster. So this is why sometimes when you see players, right, that might be in a squad and you're saying like, hmm, why does he have Van Dyke in here in sep instead of featured Beckenbauer? Or why does he have Maldini instead of the faster, um, you know, Koulibaly or someone like that, right? There's always a reason sometimes that you'll just find that you have, you perform better with players or they just actually make interceptions for you without you really kind of like doing anything because the AI is covering gaps. They're covering mistakes. Next up, we have got Koulibaly, who is a beast as well. He hasn't really featured 
to them many of these um you know players that i would recommend or beastly defenders or anything like that i will be doing a new beastly defenders that you need to buy coming out quite soon as well if you haven't checked out my other video check out all those series because i do have a couple up including super subs and including a couple of other players as well such as defenders i already did that one but i will be doing another one based on um, a bit more research and whatever, and midfielders and forwards and all that. But Koulibaly, again, he trains up to be an absolute weapon at the back as well, a monster at the back. 93 defensive awareness, 95 tackling, 90 aggression. His acceleration is nothing to laugh at either. But as I said, it's all the player skills. That's kind of what I would bank on at the moment because you will see a lot of the time when you are getting the ball intercepted off you, it's like two or three um two or three instances in a game where you get caught in the counter-attack, you know, where a player sticks out his foot contextually. You're not controlling it. Your opponent isn't controlling it. It's just the way that the game is at the moment defensively. You know what I mean? That a lot of the defensive awareness stats and the actual player skills are like really animation-based. So the player skills are controlling the animation. So if you're passing into space and you're passing it past Vieira and Makalele, or you're passing it past Casemiro and Koulibaly, there's more of a chance of your A, your AI sticking out his leg to intercept that, or you trying to, you know, intercept the ball as best as you possibly can. Barrios, we've talked about him for so long, lads. If you do not have this guy in your squad, I definitely think get him. He's an absolute beast as well. Really, really, really good at the back. DMF, unbelievable if you don't have paddy v and you can't afford somebody like casemiro or kimmich or somebody like that i just hit my mic um i definitely think barrios for 51k is is is, is worth it like he's worth his weight in gold he's been a beast since pez 2020 next up we have got kunde who plays for barcelona obviously went to him this summer and another monster another absolute beast of a player lads everyone's a beast somebody said in my comments below but all these players that i am featuring are beasts that's why they're being featured but again i still think that this guy has room to develop you look at his player skills again and we go again for the interception blocker aerial superiority sliding tackle fighting spirit and heading and as we saw at the start you can read up about what those player skills are defined as you know like they really tell you in the game what they actually control now not all player skills are created equally i still think interception and blocker are the two main ones to buy or to get players that have those player skills because you can always boost up a lot of players defensively very very high you know you can get a player for fifty thousand gp as we saw at barrios and have a high defensive awareness have a high engine have a high motor that's able to get up and down the pitch but sometimes it might suit your gameplay and it might suit how you actually want to set up your team to have a slower base player that is going to get a lot of those contextual blocks and contextual kind of animations where they do stop the ball going through or they get a little leg on it to stop the momentum of your opponent if he's got a, on a clear breakthrough all it needs sometimes is a little stoppage um, or a little interception that it goes a bit farther the pass gets bobbled in a different direction to stop the momentum of a player who's on a counter attack and he needs an extra sprint or an extra touch or an extra second to get his, sh his shot off van dyke is probably the gold standard lads i would think a lot of people have asked me why i continue to play van dyke even if he's on normal form arrow i usually play van dyke ahead of anybody else if they're on an up arrow or unless they're on a fully up form arrow like ruben diaz or something i always try and get van dyke in he was unbelievable in eFootball 2022 for me when i got to division one and you can see why here with the gameplay the way it is at the moment with that such a reliance on defensive awareness that the speed and acceleration don't really matter as much because he's just able to get back no matter if he's caught for a couple of yards of pace he will get back on a long sprint 98 defensive awareness so again as we just take a quick look here at the player skills you will see the ones that are important i think they are the main two ones and again lads look this is all subjective everyone has different skill levels with the game this is very like this advice is very kind of clued into like the average player that's 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 playing if you want to improve your game like if you are in the top five percent of the, of the of the game and you're in division one and you're winning 40 50 games in a row um you're going to be able to dominate with most players you know what i mean the player skill cards won't make as much of a difference but it's kind of like in call of duty it's using the meta guns using the guns that are op at that moment in that patch to give yourself the best chance of competing against you know similarly skilled guys um so that's what these players are so give these guys a try you probably already know a lot about these guys um but if you've got the budget or 
or if you even if you don't have much GP, there's an option here for everybody. So yeah, check out if they do, if you are going buying a defensive minded player anywhere from a CMF back to your goalkeeper or back to your center backs, I should say, check out that they do have these player skills and you can check it very easily on eFootballDB.com as I'm doing here as well. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. Let me know if it, if it helps you out and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.